Farmers are growing cannabis in central North Carolina, preparing to cash in. A new processing plant for hemp just opened in Granville County. CBS 17's Derek Lewis is there digging deeper into how it could benefit the community. Hemp is making its impact in North Carolina. I know the tobacco industry uh, consumption is, is declining. Uh, we were just looking for an alternative crop. Jimmy Cruz has been farming since 1984 and started growing the cannabis last year. He's one of 140 farmers partnering with Isolera Extracts. The company will take the hemp farmers grow and either process it for them or simply buy it. And we pay the farmers for the crop, so we're basically the end outlet to the farmer, and then we turn around and sell our finished products into the nutraceutical and pharmaceutical world. Managing partner Jack Tatum held a ribbon cutting ceremony Friday. He chose Oxford, knowing it's a central location for farmers. What we didn't know was the way the red carpet was going to be rolled out for us. I've learned the building was once a manufacturing facility. In December, legislators passed the 2018 Farm Bill that allows people to grow and profit from hemp. Tatum tells me for years, legislators confused hemp with marijuana, also a cannabis. Hemp has no mind-altering effects, but had a number of medicinal benefits that we're starting to learn about where we weren't able to research it previously because it was still classified as a Schedule One drug up until just December this past year. Hemp can be used for several products, including lotions, food, and clothes, leaving farmers with many options. What we're growing for is the CBD, but there are also uh, fiber, uh, also uh, seed that we could possibly get into also. The company plans to open phase two within a few months and tells me the number of pounds of hemp processed per day can go from 600 to at least 6,000. In Oxford, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.